Okay, so we're gonna wander up to the chicken coop. Let the girls out. Chickens drink lots of water, so we have lots of little containers scattered about. We have vitamins in there, yeah. that brown stuff at the bottom. You coming, Roxy? This is our polytunnel that we use to grow in the summer and in the winter the chickens go in there through a wee tunnel to keep and they've got food and water in there. Gives them a bit of space, it's sheltered and that's a little tunnel that goes into it. So this is our big... We've got this run that's covered with chicken wire and we've got another run next to it but which isn't covered so the chickens can have either of these but I generally work with the dogs in the other one and this is the actual coop I'll let them out Look at those girls 27 of them there They've all got names Misty, Phoenix uh, that's all going too fast. Olivia, Snowdrop, Isabella. Anyway, so and um, here is the where we lay eggs. You can see there's a ton of eggs to be picked out of there. Majesty's laying just now. Nesting boxes. But we have the back of it comes off. That unhooks and then that comes off and that allows you to clean it out. So we have a back door here. We've put up these bars so that we can stand on them. The back door goes out into our little forest area that we can run about in. And we've got a little door here with a latch that takes them into the other run. Hi. Hi, Phoenix. Hi. So, we built a wee bus shelter for them, so if it rains they can stand under there. Is that right? And that's our other chicken shed for our new ones that come. I'll just take you briefly to see that. Hang on. So we've got this food out where that shed is, that's where we feed them. And they're on just chicken greens and layers pellets and there's vitamins powder that you can buy. If you want to know more about that, I can tell you. So they just come down themselves. And then there's girls in the forest there, as I call it. So in here is our little garden that we grow things in. So we've got the orchards, got wee trees growing up. And this shed here is the hen shed. And a lot of them come in here when they first come but then they prefer to sleep in the other one. They put themselves to bed when it starts to get light. At first they don't know, so you have to help them. And this is what the inside of this. So this little bits and pieces for them to perch on. And we've got the cat gymnasium for them in there. There you go. Nice flame. Hi darling. On the wee nose. And more water. So they've got a pretty good set up here. I think they're the proper free range in. Because we're lucky enough we've got a lot of land. They will make your land a bit uh, muddy. Um, so just be prepared for that. You can shift things around and if you do any gardening they just kick kick all the air. So we're, we're brushing that every day. And this is the polytunnel. And we've got a water, oops, oh, it's warm in here, in the summer. we've got water feeder and a grain feeder and that's the tunnel that they come in. So there we go. And we have a wee chair so we can watch them. In their antics, they dig lots of wee holes in the sand um, and it makes, in the earth, it makes them, it's like a little bath, a spa for them. And what else do they like doing? They'll eat bits of grain, helps turn up the, or you can put sand out for them and it goes, they eat it and it helps break up the seed in their bellies. And that's them, isn't it darling? So the newer brown ones are rescues that have been here for about a month and they're get, they came with no feathers really. 
and uh, they're starting to really do well. That's Phoenix and Dakota, the new ones. Here we go. Here's Storm, Tracy, Gilda, Jemima, and they all get on with the dogs. I train the dogs to leave the chickens alone and there's absolutely no doubt, there's no any kind of aggression or the ability for the dogs to think that it's okay to chase chickens. It just doesn't happen. Chickens have priority. So they're, and of course I'll have chickens in the house as well if they're purely, come on, Roxy! So they're all pretty, everyone gets on together here. I wouldn't have it any other way. It wouldn't, you have to be pretty strong on discipline. Hey Gilda! You want harmony at the end of the day. If you only have a garden or a small piece of land, use this. Um, this you can get these on the internet. They're about ninety pound, and it's a little run, and they can go underneath it, and you move it about so they don't. You know, we like them to be a little bit freer. Yeah, there, Gemma's de demonstrating. It. And then there's a wee bit here, they can lay eggs, so you can have a couple of chickens in your garden. And they're quite happy in that little run. It's just that we're, you know, if I lived in another house with a smaller garden, that would be ideal. Hey girls! Right, come on then, Gemma. Come on. Gemma, come on. Chickens can learn a few words. Come on. 22 words, I think. She's ignoring me. It's Christmas. Um, so there we go. Come on, girl. They're generally pretty good at falling. You can do trick training with them as well. Um, chickens are wholly motivated by food. So you can teach them to weave in the weave poles. Not that I've done that with them because I'm too busy doing dogs. Or jump little jumps. They can do all that. They're pretty, they're pretty good. And they'll follow you anyway. As long as you've got the food. Not that I've got food just now, but they're wanting food. Thirsty, thirsty little creatures. Okay, hopefully that's helpful. And uh, good luck with your chickens. Bye.